Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Long Pond State Forest. Uh, so, we camped here last night. Uh, I activated 20, 40, and 80, and it went okay. Um, it's about 6.45 a.m. Uh, I've been up for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and make some coffee. I'm going to hop back on the air and uh, see if we can't make some more contacts. So... These people, I didn't even know, they pulled in. I slept like a baby. These cars pulled in, they're out in their kayaks out there. You can see them way out there. But uh, I've got the antenna tuned up for 80 still. So I think that's where we'll start. And we'll see how that goes. It's a little late for 80. Um, I was intending to be on the air earlier than this, but I slept longer than I figured I would. Normally I'm awake by like 4 35 o'clock when I camp because the birds in the sun wake me up But like I said, I was out cold. So We will Get on the air here shortly. I want to get the radio set back up Like I said, the antenna is already tuned for 80. So we'll start there. We'll see what we get And then if we don't get any bites there, we'll move up to 40 I'll be running the G90 again today So with 20 watts um we should be able to make some some decent contacts, so we'll see. But uh, like I said, let me let me get some coffee in me, and then uh, I'll get on the air and we'll see what happens. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we are all tuned up on 80. I did have to make a minor adjustment to the antenna. Um, like I said, it's it's 10 after 7, so it's 11, whatever. 11, 11, 10, 11, 09, UTC. So I'm not sure how good 80 meters is gonna be right now, but we will find out. Now, I don't know if they fixed the RBN integration yet or not. Let's find out. hit the RBN yet, which is interesting. Oh yes, I have. So we're not getting on amazing, but we're getting out. Um, let's see if it's actually spotting me on POTA though. Nope, so I'm gonna have to manually spot myself. Okay, so we're on three, five, four, two. Nope, we're at US 5396 comments. CW spot. Why didn't that spot me? Oh, it did. Okay, there we go. Well, like I said. I don't know if we're going to get any takers on 80 meters this time of the day. Man. My, uh, my coffee hasn't kicked in yet.
like I said, 80 might not get us any any, uh, any bites this morning. Let's see if we're getting out any better. But it's not bad. I mean, we're getting, you know, up into Canada, over to Ohio, down over towards like, oh, into Jersey maybe, down into Pennsylvania. So not incredible, but certainly not horrible. Well, that's one. My brain's not awake yet. It took me a second to copy that. Get some more coffee. So I'm thinking about it, let me get a couple pictures here. So I'm running the same basic setup I ran last night. The major difference is I switched keys. I'm running the TP3 today instead of the CW Morse key. It just felt like changing it up a little bit. I've said it before, I still think for an entry level radio for most people, this, whoops, sorry, I kicked the camera. <laughs> Got you guys at another little table. Um, I still think the G90 is the way to go for most people. The feature set's kind of hard to beat, for the, especially at the price point. Are there better radios? Absolutely. Are there better radios for the money? I'm not sure that's the case. I'm sure people will argue that with me, but that's okay. That's just my opinion. I, I, I know I'm not the only person that, that, that holds that opinion, that this radio is for, like I said, for a beginner, I mean, this radio can do everything. It can be a field radio. This can be your shack radio. This was my shack radio for months and months and months. It can even be a mobile radio, right? I mean, this, this, the body, the radio can go under your seat and the head detaches and you can put that anywhere you wanted. It really is kind of a cool rig. Well, in typical GoPro fashion, this thing just stopped recording out of the blue. So you haven't missed much. I was in the middle of talking when, uh, when the camera went beep, beep, beep and stopped recording. I'm going to call CQ one or two more times on 80. And if we don't get any more bites, we've only got one call, but I'll take it. If we don't get any more, I'll tune the antenna up on 40 and we'll go from there.
Okay. I think we'll QSY up to 40, so. Okay, so I'm gonna kill the camera here. I'm going to, oops, that just turns the screen off. The long press. I'm gonna kill the camera here and tune the antenna up on 40 because it takes a minute. And then uh, I'll be back in just a minute and we'll see what we can get on 40. Okay, so we're tuned back up on 40 now. Let's see if uh, let's see if this works any better. 40 meters this time of day usually is pretty good. So I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. So I got a little bit of room for my feet here. There we go. Can you still see everything? Yes, you can. I'm actually gonna move you guys a little bit too. There we go. It's currently 7.28. Okay, let me respot myself. Seven zero five eight point five. CW, let's make sure it's all right. 70585, 96, CW, yep, spot. All right. <coughs> I think what we'll do is we will have the RBN page open. So we can see what that looks like. I'm not too concerned about it today because I already have a valid activation last night, so. Forties, there's a lot of activity out of 40 this morning. Take it, Mississippi on 40. Gotcha.
That's a few right in a row. Man, it might be a slow morning. I'm running way more power than normal, too. Granted, it is Monday morning. Park to park. Dave. He's way off frequency. I expected it to be busier this morning. Like I said, it's Monday morning though, so. So what do we get so far this morning? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd like to get at least three more, even though, like I said, I already have a valid activation. I'd like to at least get 10 of the books this morning. I really do wish this radio had a memory keyer. That would make life so much easier. The other two radios I have with me do.
I think that was N. I think that's what that was. his speed a little better. Sounded like he might have been a new op. I'm glad to get you in the log, especially if you are newer. Um, by all means, if you're if you're new to this, go ahead and work me. Just uh, understand if I've got a big pile up, I may not be able to pull you out if you're real slow. But on mornings like this, I'll work new folks all day long. In fact. You know, because I teach CW, and I started by teaching the beginners carousel at LICW, I teach intermediate now, but if anybody's new to CW and you just want to schedule your first contact or something, just shoot me an email. My email's good on QRZ. Just shoot me an email. We'll set up a time. We'll get on the air. We'll, we'll rip that Band-Aid off, and, uh, you know, you'll know what's coming ahead of time. So, you know, if, if anybody, wants to, uh, anybody wants to make their first contact, just let me know. I'm more than willing to oblige. And I'll QRS to whatever speed you want me to go to. All right, I heard something mobile in there. He's way down on the noise. There's a mobile station. Oh, it's Joe. Oh, he came up. He's he's probably in his work van. Joe owns a company called Revolution Plumbing in Massachusetts. So he was probably on an 891 and an ATOS in his, he's got a Mercedes like work van. I suspect that's where he was. Like I said, that's Joe, W-I-1-Z-R-D. His call sign looks like wizard, which is kind of cool. Um, like I said, if you're in, I think, I think he's in the Boston area. So if you're in the Boston area and you're looking for a good plumber, look up Joe, uh, Joe Antonelli, I think is his last name, Revolution Plumbing. He's a good dude. Let me just 
check the spots and see. Oh yeah, I'm getting out pretty good. Let me, let me message Joe real quick and just let him know where is he. Where are you, Joe? You're in here someplace. Like everybody in here is Pota people, so <laughs> if I can't find him right now, oh, you know what? I'll do it on Instagram. There's Joe. slower than I expected it to be this morning. I expected a lot more calls, but that's all right. It's like this sometimes. This is a rare park too. Hard time keying this morning. Like I said I only have one cup of coffee, so brain's not awake. Ooh. Man, I'm having a rough time this morning. I'm getting out pretty good based on the uh, based on the RBN. I'm surprised I'm getting as few calls as I am. I mean, I'm getting out getting out fairly good. Well, we'll call CQ a few more times. If we don't get any more bites. We'll wrap this one up. I've got. 10 this morning. Like I said, I already had a valid activation, so it wasn't a huge deal, but I wanted to get 10 in anyways. All right, we'll call CQ one more time, and if we don't get any bites, we'll wrap this one up. way slower than I expected it to be this morning. Um, like I said, generally speaking, 40 meters this time of day is really busy. But like I said, it is a Monday morning. So we got 10 in the log this morning. Um, all in all, I'll take it. Not the most amazing activation ever. Um, but I mean, between yesterday and today, I mean, there's yesterday. And that's this morning. I mean, that's, I don't know, 50 contacts, something like that. And I haven't been on the air a whole lot. So um, I'm going to put around camp here a little bit, get a little more coffee in me. And then um, I may hop back on the air and we'll see. I'm not going to record that. I'll just hop on and see if I can make some contacts. I might hunt some park-to-parks and stuff. 
But at any rate, everybody, I apologize if this one was a little boring. Like I said, I expected this to be much busier than it was. But uh, it is what it is. So at any rate, uh, stumbling over my tongue again, not enough coffee. So at any rate, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, until next time, 7-3.